Let's have a look at the following limit of a sequence. Well, our sequence is the nth root of n squared, and we're interested in the limit as n approaches infinity. So how do we do it? Well, a technique that I suggest here is to replace this nth square root sign with some kind of power or exponent. And then we're going to try to uh, write the sequence in a more familiar, more usable format. So, so let's, let's try that. Okay, so the nth root of n squared is just n squared to the power of 1 on n. So if we now use our exponent laws, we get n to the 2 on n. So how does that help us? Well, we're not quite finished yet putting this in a, uh, a format that we can use. Watch what I do now. I'm going to take e to the log of this entire sequence. Okay, now it's starting to look quite complicated, but stay with me. I can now use my log laws to bring this exponent to the front. Okay, which I can just rewrite in the following form. Okay, how does that help us? Well, to take the limit over here, it's just equivalent to taking the limit of e to the 2 log n on n. Now, the limit of log n on n as n goes to infinity is just 0. You can prove that by using the Hoppe-Tiles rule applied to log n on n. Okay? So the limit of our sequence is just the limit of this e to the 2 log n all on n. Okay, to evaluate this limit, all I need to do is take the limit of log n all on n, and that is 0. So e to the 2 times 0, which is, of course, e to the 0, e to the 0 is 1. So, notice what uh, was done here. The nth root was changed to an exponent, and then we took e to the log of the entire sequence and then simplified. And the, uh, the, the part of that sequence that really uh, stood out and suggested that we use this method was the non-constant exponent.